Hey everybody, what's up? It's the Great Pumpkin. And today, I'm reminiscing about something that I wasn't there to experience. The 80s. I like the 80s. I'm really sad I missed them. It was a great time, honestly. I, I, I really wish I lived in the 80s, because life nowadays is so dumb, it's so boring, complicated. Like, everything's just haywire. Back then, at least from as far as I've been told, it's a pretty nice time to be alive. Have fun, party, don't really worry about life much. Definitely not as much politics as there is today. You just hung out, friends, had a good time, just chilled out. It's a pretty nice time. And the music wasn't bad. I love 80s music to no end. It is probably my favorite type of music. If I, if I had to pick a, a period in time, it would definitely be the 80s. As, as far as genres go, I honestly don't care. But, I mean, like, the 80s were just great. I, I love 80s music. My, my parents grew up in the 80s, and so, of course, that's all I was really brought up on. There were two channels on the radio as I was growing up. The local radio station, which had the morning talk show. You know, people call in and, you know, talk about whatever they want to talk about on the radio. And the other station, of course, the 80s. At first, it got a little annoying, because I'm like, Mom, why don't you play something that I know? And then, I started liking it. It's pretty nice. I'm uh, listening to Brown Eyed Girl right now, by I believe it's Van Morrison. Yeah, Van Morrison. Pretty cool guy. He, uh, if, I be- if I'm correct, I also believe he wrote Moondance. Which is a fantastic jazz piece that I played in high school. It was awesome. I love Moon Dance. It's it's a great song. I don't know, man. It's just like everything's so much chill back then. Everything is so so chilled out in the eighties. It's honestly it's all it's the life I wish I had because it's just like go ahead, have fun, do what you want. Nobody's gonna really judge you for nothing. It's not like there's anything you can't do. Just be human, be you. It's the 80s. Chill, man. Have fun. I just like it. It's, I, I, I can't I can't stand it. I just, I just made up a Spotify playlist that I'm listening to as I film this. With about 46 different songs in it from the 80s that I consider to be absolute classics. And this is... is I, I feel like I definitely was wrong in the... Like, I, I was born in the wrong decade. I, just, I hear 80s music, and I think, gosh, that, I wish that was me. And one of, probably one of the number one uh, situations I think that in is whenever I hear the song Jesse's Girl. I don't know why, don't ask me why, but Jesse's Girl is probably one of my favorite songs. A, because it's fun to sing. I love singing it. And B... It, it speaks to so many different things at the same time. It's like, every everything about that song is exactly what every man goes through at some point in his life. Dang, I wish I got that girl. Why does my buddy have the perfect girl for me? How did he get my girl? It's just like, everybody thinks that at some point in their life. How, how did your friend end up with the chick that you super, super like? It's so... I wish that I had Jesse's girl. Da, 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 da. I wish that I had Jesse's girl. It's just, where can I find a woman like that? Everybody needs, everybody has experienced that at some point in their life. It's, it's such such an awesome, relatable song. That's the thing. That's the other thing about the '80s. Everything's relatable. It's it's ageless. Obviously, proving the fact that me, a guy born forty years later. Actually, almost 50 years after 1980. I was born in 1998, so I'm I'm alive almost 50 years later, and American Pie coming on. It's fantastic. I, I honestly I I've only heard the actual American Pie song as it's written, maybe twice in my life. The rest is Weird Al's version with the Star Wars parody, which I love even better because Weird Al is so amazing. But that was another thing. My dad said he actually went to a Weird Al concert when he was younger. I'm like, wait a sec, Weird Al has concerts? Yeah, Weird Al has concerts. You don't, you didn't know that? 
No, I thought he was just some YouTuber that put his songs on YouTube. So I look up more of his songs. Weird Al actually had concerts. Like, what? Like, I want to go to a Weird Al concert where all I hear is songs that aren't the originals. He takes a song, he makes it better. I don't understand how the original writers didn't write it that way because it fits so much better than what they wrote. Weird Al is amazing. I'm so glad he's still alive. I don't ever want Weird Al to die. He'll be like 95 with barely a voice left and still writing parodies about something. I, I love I love Weird Al. Favorite song, definitely Albuquerque. Because that was probably one of the first... Yeah, that is the first song I ever heard by Weird Al. Was... Oh gosh, was it third grade? Was it? Was it third? No, it had to It had to have been third grade. Third grade, the first time we ever heard a Weird Al song. And it's Albuquerque. With the air smelling like warm root beers. And something about towels. I forget what the towel bit was. Something about the towel. But my favorite bit is the weasels. The box full of weasels. He walks into a donut shop and says, Hey man, can I get some donuts? Nah, bro, we don't have any of that kind. Okay, well, what about this kind? Nah, bro, we ain't got any more of that kind. Okay, what kind of... I have this kind of donut? Nah, man, we don't have those kind of donuts. Oh, well, do you have this kind of donut? Nah, man, we don't have this kind of donut. Well, what do you have? Well, I have a box of half-crazed, starved weasels. Okay, I'll take that. So he grabs a box of weasels. He opens the box of weasels, expects donuts inside. Surprise! There's no donuts. It's just a box of rabbit half-starved weasels. <laughs> it's just the funniest song in the world. <laughs> it's 11 minutes of things like that. <laughs> There's a box of weasels. He expects... What is it, like bear claws? I think it's bear claws. He wants a box of bear claws. And he he just settles for a box of crazed, starved weasels. And it's like, yeah, this will be great. And then, as he's going to get attacked by the weasels, the, 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 the girl of his dreams walks by. And he's like, oh my gosh, the girl of my dreams. I wonder what she's going to say to me. And all she says is, hey, you got some weasels on your face. It's just, it's just, he got some weasels on your face, man. Yeah, I know I got some weasels on my face. I ordered them from the donut shop. What the f- <laughs> I love Weird Al so much. It's so great. The 80s were awesome. I can't listen to American Pie right now without thinking Star Wars. Uh so we're singing, my, my, this here Anakin guy. Maybe Vader someday later, but now he's just a small fry. He left in his home and kissed his mommy goodbye, saying, soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. Soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. It's just like, I can't. <laughs> I've only heard the original once or twice, and I can't imagine anything but the Star Wars. It's so great. Oh, I miss it. Everything about the 80s is just so much fun. It's, it's a, it's a, all the music of the 80s is a time capsule. And it's a time capsule I really wish I could open and go back to. I, I want to time travel and get myself stuck in an 80s time loop because it's just the perfect time to be alive. The, so, so, is there anything, is there anything bad about the 80s? Really? Honestly, no, maybe a couple of fashion trends are not exactly the coolest. But even in the past five or six years, 80s styles have come back like no one's business. Which just states how awesome it is because my kids my age like the 80s. Probably because of their parents like I do. It's just like, ah, I love, I love it, I love it. I, I can't stop saying how much I love it. I love the 80s. I want to go there so bad. If it was a place, I would live on it. I would live on the land called the 80s in the United States of America. It's just the greatest time to be alive. Although the 90s were pretty cool. The 90s is awesome. I was born in the 90s, but I didn't get to really experience it much. Uh, uh, October 31st, 1998. I was literally alive for the last two months 
of the 90s. Well, year and two months of the 90s. So I don't remember anything, which is really sad. Because I like the 90s. I like, I like Nirvana. That's basically like the one band I like. There's a couple others, but like only for like singles. I don't really like listening to albums other than Nirvana. But like the jeans, jeans. I love jeans. Sometimes. I like them because they're functional as heck. Blue jeans are the perfect work clothes. You know, if if they fit right, which for a guy my stature is kind of hard. But if you get some good fit in jeans, they will hold up to an atomic blast. And you can work all day long in jeans. But at the same time, they're so fashionable. The biggest reason I wish... Like, I miss the 90s. It's because jeans were sexy. You ever see a chick in high-waisted blue jeans with her hair pulled back and a nice ponytail and a nice blouse? Ooh. Ooh, let me tell you. Jeans are sexy, man. I love blue jeans. Especially on a woman. Dudes are cool. My dad has a denim jacket. It's actually pretty cool. I, it actually kind of fits me pretty good, surprisingly, seeing as my dad's a bit whiter than me. I mean... It's not that bad, but it's like, eh, I can get used to this. So, yeah, I, I like, I like, I like jeans. Jean jackets are nice. You know what, you know what was really cool about the 90s? The 90s? Patches. Jacket patches. Oh boy. I am going to end up spending so much money someday. Because I want to buy myself either a leather or a denim jacket, and I want to buy patches, and just cover the whole jacket in patches, because patches are probably the coolest way of showing your affection for something, it's like, okay, posters are cool, merchandise is alright, you can buy a t-shirt, you can buy a hat with a logo on it, it's pretty cool, I love New York, whatever, cool, that's fine, I'm glad you like New York, but the greatest way to express your appreciation for something is by wearing it around as a patch because you can't remove a patch once you get it on it will not come off so it's a permanent part of your life now and it's it's also great because like it's showing off it's it's flashy a t-shirt a ball cap who cares everybody can get those but if you get a patch a patch is something special, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end up wasting <laughs> wasting so much money. I've been looking it up on eBay and things like different patches you can buy. Most of them would be for video games because I love video games. Obviously, you're watching me play one now. But it's just like I want ah I want to buy up so many retro game patches, even if I haven't played them. I at least know what they are and I've seen them, and I know they're such a huge part of culture. And how they've affected video games today. I just want so many patches. I want. I. I might even get two jackets because I need so many more patches. Like I. I. I I'm in the. I'm in the early stages of addiction. I'm addicted to the thing I don't have yet, which is patches. I really want patches. I really want patches. I want to take my jacket. Ooh, maybe I'll just get a, a leather jacket and a denim jacket, and then. Yeah, that can work. Yeah, I'll just get one slightly bigger than the other so I can wear them both at the same time. And then, when somebody's like, Hey man, where'd you get all those patches? Don't you have enough patches? And I'm like, Nah, B. I got more patches. And rip off the outer jacket and show them the jacket on the inside with more patches. I've got like twice the patches. I'll show everybody how cool I am because all my patches are... Yeah, patches. Patches are cool. There's nothing bad about a patch. Patches are cool. I want a, I want a denim and a leather jacket. And I want to put patches on them. It'll be great. It'll be awesome. I want patches. Excuse me for a second. This is like... Mm. Two, two favorite things. 80s music and patch jackets. I love patch jackets and 80s music. It's great. Oh, Journey. That's the other one. Journey. Don't stop believing right now. Oh, my gosh. I love Journey. 
It's so weird to hear a 19 year old say this in 2018. But I love Journey. It's awesome. It's like, it's. I will always have a very fond memory. Maybe not necessarily a good memory <laughs> in some places, but I'll always have a very fond memory of uh, "Don't Stop Believing," because that was the song we were forced, at almost, almost at gunpoint, <laughs> to sing for our sixth grade graduation. And by that I mean nobody actually put a gun to our heads. Just like. Our teachers literally give us no other option. You have to sing this song at your sixth grade graduation for your parents. So we all ended up memorizing Don't Stop Believing," And everybody gets up on stage in our, like, mock capping gowns. Like, we were just, like, supposed to be pretending we were wearing them. But we just dressed nice or whatever. So we're up there. My entire class of, like, I don't know, like, what, 80 kids in sixth grade. And... We're, we're singing, we're singing, we're doing our thing, and of course, you know, sixth grade music class, they make you do motions to the song, they make you wave your hands around, and interpretive dance, and sign language with your whole body to show everybody how into the song you are, when you're not actually into the song at all, it's just boring and complicated, and you don't want to do it. So, we're up there doing that business, and then halfway through the song, none of us knew, but our, assist our assistant principal, Mr. Casey, was coming out in... Like, the weirdest getup I'd ever seen. It was his normal, you know, principal bit. But these gigantic wraparound mirror finish sunglasses. And he just ran across the stage playing his air guitar. And of course, this is the weirdest thing in the world. Because this is the guy that disciplines the kids more than anybody else. Is up on stage with those same kids he beat their butts. Play an air guitar, cool sunglasses, it's like, but, and you're singing Don't Stop Believing as he's sitting here on his knees, just rocking out with an air guitar, like, I, Mr. Casey, I don't know where, where, where you got this idea, but I'm mortified and obsessed at the same time, can you stop but not stop, so I'll always have good memories of that song, it's just another great one, now what's this one? More than a feeling, of course. Boston. That's another one of my dad's favorite bands. Boston. Boston's awesome. I didn't actually realize how many more songs Boston produced besides the one album. I forget which album it was, but my dad has his favorite album of Boston. That, uh, I don't know. Because we'd play it on the bus all the time. My dad drove a, a bus. It was a shuttle bus. we just shuttle people back and forth from one place to another. But... I'd, I'd ride with him in the seat behind the driver, and we blast this one album. I forget what it was. I forget. It's a really sad thing. I really loved it. But we just blast this one album at Boston, and of course my dad lived in Massachusetts for, I think, like something like 17, 18 years or whatever. He lived there for a long time before I moved out here. So that's another great memory for him. I didn't realize how many more different songs Boston wrote because none of them sound like the other album. So as I'm going through making a Spotify playlist yesterday, I'm like, dang, a lot of my favorite songs are by Boston and I didn't even know it. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> it's, I, I just love the carefree attitude of the 80s. Everything is so carefree. It's... It's so relaxing just to listen to. I I love it. The 80s. It's the ultimate chill. Really, honestly, it's the ultimate chill. Because you're either relaxing, just sitting back, having a good old time, talking, sharing stories like I am now, or you're partying, and you have no idea why you're partying. You're just partying. Because why not? Everybody likes having a good time, right? Everybody likes partying. So you just, it was one of those two things. Either relaxing or partying. And neither of them are bad. So you just enjoy yourself the whole time. And it's a great time to be alive. I love it. I love the 80s. Ah. Excuse me if I yawn. It's like 10.30 at night. Anyway. Yeah. It's a great thing. I'm already running at 20 minutes into this video. And it feels like nothing. I might have to do a part two. <laughs> uh, good times good times 
Uh, I miss it. I want to go back. Even though I wasn't there. I didn't even exist as a thought yet at that time. But I look on the internet. I Google different things. And I get stories from parents and people who were around in the 80s. It's, it's, it's so nice. That's a great time to be alive. What do you guys think? Anybody? Any, uh... Probably, as far as I know, is probably the only one that'll watch this sport or alive for the 80s, but... What, what, what's everybody else think? You, you guys like 80s? You, guys, you like the 80s music? You like the culture? It's pretty cool stuff. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool stuff. I like it. It's a great time for jazz. Pretty good jazz revival in the 80s. Or at least jazz influence. I, I love jazz. First off... I love jazz for saxophones. I really wish I could play saxophone, but I can't, because I'm a scrub, and I don't know how to move my fingers that many different ways that different fast. So, there's that. But, I do know how to play the tuba, and the tuba is really fun to play jazz music with, because no one really expects it. It's pretty fun, because there's the flute. I didn't know a flute could be jazzy, but you can play jazz music on a flute, and it sounds pretty cool. If you play a saxophone piece transcribed for a flute, it's weird, but it's good. And then you try doing it on a tuba, and you're like, this is strangely pleasant. I never thought I'd enjoy this. So in in high school, my last year, my senior year in high school, I did jazz band as a tuba. And I never played much jazz music before. I just liked the sound of it. So... As I'm sitting here trying to figure this stuff out, I'm sitting next to the trombone section. And the trombones are like, doodly 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 do. We're having fun. We're having fun. Doodly 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 do. And I'm over here like, I've got my completely own thing. I'm technically not supposed to be here. I'll just do my own thing. So I did. So most of the time I was playing the fourth trombone part which is the lowest part for a trombone, but the highest thing in the world for a tuba, you know, so I could try to blend in. But a lot of the time I was playing the bass bit, as in bass guitar, because the the guy that we had playing bass guitar actually sucked quite, quite a bit. It was kind of irritating, and so he gave me the the bass guitar bits, and I'm like, this is so much fun. So much more fun than playing the trombone bit. So, uh, oh gosh, it's Fortunate Son, great song. <laughs> um, yeah, so just playing the bass guitar part on a tuba is so satisfying, because it's meant for strings, and you hear it, and you think strings, but you're like, oh, I never thought of, that sounds pretty good, I never thought of it sounding that way. So you, you shock people, you give them a happy surprise, and you have fun with it. So, jazz is fun too, and it was it was really nice to have people like Van Morrison writing things like Moon Dance, because that was super fun, super fun. I will I will always love that song. It is probably one of my favorites, next to Jesse's Girl. Jesse's Girl tops it at the top always, but then Moon Dance is pretty up there. Yeah, it was fun. Like I, like I say, I wish I could time travel. I feel like I'm always stuck in the wrong place in time, because my current place in the world is searching for my place in the world. I don't really have much of an identity yet, I'm just trying to figure things out still, as most 19 year olds are, but when I think about the 80s, I'm like, that is exactly how I want my life to be. That's what I identify with more, because I hate my generation, honestly. Kids my age are retarded, and I hate it. And adults nowadays are retarded, and I hate it. You go back to the 80s, you don't have to have figured things out. Like, you don't have to figure things out. You just go with it, and it works out. And I know that's, well, not necessarily. It really depends on where you're from. But most places, you can still just kind of wing it and make things work, but it's not what you really wanted. The 80s, you wing it, and you get everything you wanted. Whether you're trying for it or not, whether you want, whether you know you want it or not, you get what you need. It's not what you thought you'd get, it's what you needed to get. 
And it's like, hmm, <laughs> life's all figured out. But sadly, I was born like, you know, at least a decade late for that kind of stuff. So I never really got to, to live out my dreams. And because it's not 80s culture anymore, 80s culture's dead in 2018. So there's not really a place for people like me who want to think of the world as it was then. It's pretty sad. Kind of feel left out sometimes because no one else knows 80s music and that's really the only songs I know. And so it's really, really fun sometimes as well because uh, I'll go to work, which is one of my favorite places to hang out nowadays actually is at my job <laughs> because of my coworkers and my boss in particular. I've known since I was little actually, which is part of the reason I got the job. But uh, I'll just literally walk into work and within 30 seconds we're singing some song from the 80s or 90s or something. We're singing some song and no one else in the no one else knows what we're singing. Just just me and her chilling out. It's like yes, someone understands me. I'm singing a song no one else gets. No one else is you know proud enough to say they they like that song. And here I am with a woman 30-something years older than me singing our favorite song together. It's just such a weird but awesome experience. I love it. I love I love singing 80s songs. It's fun to listen to them and just party out. But singing at the top of your lungs about stuff that doesn't matter is beautiful. It's a great thing. I can't believe I've sat here for 27 minutes now just talking about the 80s. Most of most of it's about the 80s. Shush. But <laughs> such a great thing. I don't know I'm repeating myself a lot because that but that's just because I have so much enthusiasm. I I honestly don't know what else to say. It's just a great time to be alive. I love the music because it's so relatable and fun. I love patches from the 90s. Patches and blue jeans and patches and blue jeans patches and more patches and patches and patches and patches i love patches i'm going to probably end up spending at least i don't know probably probably at least 70 80 bucks just to get a halfway decent jacket and then i'm probably going to spend some like 300 bucks on patches to cover that one jacket so double that i'm probably going to end up spending probably somewhere there like 800 dollars on buying a jacket on two jackets, a denim and a leather jacket, and then outfitting it with patches of different things I love. It's 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 gonna be a great day when I when I get that when I when I when I get those jackets someday. I'm gonna share a picture with the whole wide world of me and my proud new jackets, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. I want my patches. I want my patch jackets. And I want to be rocking out to the 80s while I wear them. It's going to be a great time. I'd love to learn how to ride a motorcycle, except that kind of scares me, honestly, because I'm still scared of driving. You know, like a car. But, <laughs> but like, wearing, wearing, wearing patch jackets on a motorcycle is like the epitome of cool. I will never be as cool as someone who has a patch jacket and rides a motorcycle because I don't want actually want to learn how to drive a car, let alone a motorcycle. Uh, it's gonna be fun I can't wait now I'm just super excited to get a patch jacket I want a patch jacket I want a patch jacket I want a patch jacket but to get the money I have to keep working I have to go to work tomorrow so I'm gonna end up cutting this short here in like 40 seconds ish so yeah this has been a very redundant video but a very happy one it's the first video I've made. I've actually been happy about something. So it's good. Maybe I'll spend the next video talking more. Maybe. I don't know. Tell me down below. What what should I do a video on next? What what can I ramble about for half an hour? You guys should tell me things because I want to listen. So, go ahead, tell me things. What what should I make a video on next? I want suggestions. So, with five seconds left. Thank you very much for watching your daily dose of lead, and I'll see you next time, beautiful people.